Hello seekers, welcome to Prince Astrology, your one stop astro channel. I often get a uh, lot of people during my consultations or otherwise also who is always scared about a very specific position of a very specific planet. And whenever that uh, planet comes under Mahadasha, Antardasha, you always face troubles, right? That position is Rahu, the mystical planet, the planet of illusion, the Maya, in the 8th house. What is so special about Rahu in the 8th house that scares the hell out of everyone? And why whenever Rahu, Mahadasha or Antardasha or even Pratyantardasha comes, this creates a lot of panic, fear, anxiety and different range of emotions that are usually horrifying in nature. Is it really that bad or can we use it for our own benefit? Can we use this mystical art, the mystical placement to get the maximum positive output? Let's discuss that. Do not forget to hit like, subscribe and share and hit the bell icon so that you never miss another update. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon and if you want to follow me on social media, the links are in the box below. If you want to uh, take my consultation, you can drop me an email. The email ID is in the description box below. Stay tuned till the end to know much more about this very, very different placement of a very unique planet, Rahu in 8th house. Rahu is the planet of mystic mysticism. Rahu is the planet that defines illusion. But do you also know that Rahu is the planet that helps you get out of situation when you're completely stuck? Rahu is expert in breaking the deadlocks. Rahu is expert in creating disruptions. And Rahu is also the master of disguise. And sometimes that disguise is necessary, right? Rahu, when it goes into the house, which is itself very mysterious, which is the 8th house, Rahu is like, a, like a, a hidden creature, a hidden energy that nobody understands. And because you don't understand that hidden energy, it's like going into the basement with complete pitch darkness and there are live wires of electricity. If you don't carry a light with you, you are bound to get shock. Don't blame Rahu for that, don't blame the placement. But the fact is, we do not understand the energy, we do not understand the placement and we fail to throw light on that. But if light is being thrown in that house, if the knowledge of that house, that placement is, is, is understood, is absorbed, then you will see the real picture here. See, Rahu is definitely a malefic planet and Rahu defines deceit, cheating, gambling, you know, theft, go robbery, going down in the, in the society, doing controversial things, taking the wrong path, criminal activity. That's Rahu for you. In the 8th house, house of death, it's like the underground and where the, where the Rahu is completely in its complete control, the Maya is in its own domain and that, il that illusion drives you crazy, drives you mad. That's understood. But do you behave Rahu, do you, do you think Rahu should behave in a different way? Do you think river should become solidified? No, right? River is a stream of water, it will flow. In its, uh, take, in its natural course, so Rahu will also do activity according to his prarabdha, the destiny that he possesses, the destiny that he carries in his life. But when Rahu goes into the 8th house, whatever happens with you, the sole purpose of that panic, that anxiety, that hell of a situation is that you understand the 8th house, you explore that energy face the fear. Do you have any other option? Actually, no. Because Rahu defines new karma, the karma that you have to do in this life. 
areas of exploration and if it is the eighth house you have to explore this house it's very good if you want to do studies about forensic studies if you want to become secret agent if you want to find out faults if you want to look where nobody looks if you want to do tasks that nobody wants to do this placement is the best it's a highly occult placement. Yes, it gives problem under certain situation, but those problems can be addressed by focusing into the path of occult, by focusing yourself into the path of hidden spirituality, by focusing into the underlying cause, the cause that runs behind something that is on the face. When Rahu is in the eighth house, things can be different on the face and things will be different on behind. And that is very prominent for you. In fact, it's not just the Rahu Mahadash or Antardash, it's like a theme of life. It can, it can put you into a situation where you are always, uh, always concerned about everybody. You're always uh, worried about the situations related to your marriage. You're always concerned about the status with your in-laws, the inheritance and the money that is invested. You're always concerned about your death. You're always concerned about the profits that you have, concern is a common feature with Rahu in the 8th house. All the concerns will go away by doing just one task. Yoga, meditation, but not just like the usual way, the unusual one. Practice Hatha Yoga, practice deep meditation. Tantra, positive Tantra is one way of handling this. But yes, if the energy is unhandled, if the energy rules on you and you don't run the energy it's like touching the live wire you are bound to get hurt so the only way not to get hurt is first of all stop anything that is troubling you right now take a step back observe the situation list down what things are going wrong and then learn about it and see them through a point of view of eighth house see them from an occult perspective However difficult it may sound, but this is one of the best ways to handle Rahu in 8th house and curb the fear. The only way Rahu in 8th can give you positivity and take the fear away from you is when you hit the fear head on. When you fight the fear head on. And trust me, it's quite easy for you. It's only the illusion that does not allow you to take the first step. But once you take the first step, once you take that leap of faith, once you believe in yourself, once you take the help of Shani and Jupiter to understand the position of Rahu, you will understand that the exploration in which you will go will lead you to mysterious places, mystical places and places where nobody can even see. This internal transformation can give you Kundalini Jagrat also. It's easier for people with Rahu in the 8th house to connect to the mystic and to connect with the other dimension than people of any other yoga. I hope if you have this placement, you give up your fear right now and start practicing spirituality, start focusing on that house and start rectifying it because that is the only way. Don't fear, don't get panicked. Rahu can also be used. If you want to get out of this planet, you need rocket, right? The thrust of rocket is Rahu. Without that thrust, it's not easy to go to the moon. That's it guys, I hope this gives you some positivity about this placement. Share your experiences in the comment section and also share how you plan to overcome so that it can create a community awareness how you are trying to overcome but in a positive way, in, a, in an optimistic way and in a way that is good for you and people around you. Thank you, this is your host Puneet, we'll meet in the next video, till then, Namaste.